Well, some Miami State or Miami University students rather are asking state senators not to support a controversial bill aimed at higher education. Those in favor of Senate Bill 83 say it's about free speech and preventing bias, while those against it say it will negatively impact Ohio universities. WCPO 9's Anna Azalian reports. Some students here at Miami University say they'll transfer if Senate Bill 83 becomes law because they say it'll have a negative impact on their education. Ashley Reynolds is one of those students. She's a first year social justice major who came to Miami from out of state. Pretty much everything we talk about is what they consider to be a divisive concept. It's one thing Senate Bill 83 would change, how universities can approach controversial topics, which include things like climate change, diversity, equity and inclusion programs and abortion. For those in favor of the bill, including its sponsor, Senator Jerry Serino, Senate Bill 83 is about free speech in college classrooms. Making sure that we are seeing not only free speech uh, active and alive and well on our campuses, but also to make sure that we are uh, allowing for diversity of thought. Changes the bill would make include banning bias in classrooms and banning mandatory diversity training. SB 83 ruins my degree. Things Reynolds thinks will have a negative impact on the university as a whole, but especially on her major, where they regularly discuss topics like systemic racism. That's all my classes are talking about how these problems exist and how to help solve these problems. Reynolds says under the bill, many of her classes wouldn't be able to exist. Serino says he's working on an amendment to clear up confusion about about what determines what bias is and how controversial topics can be taught. We just again want to make sure that those discussions of those controversial issues um, are given proper balance. Other higher education changes the bill would make include banning programs with Chinese schools, labor strikes and boycotts. In Oxford, Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News.